been re didn't seem to take their foot off the gas pedal. Mm -hmm. I mean, what did you like most out of the execution in this win, I guess, tonight? Well, I thought you know, we, we got off to a good start. You know, that's been great for us all season. And then the way we closed the half, I thought, was where we pretty much won the game, you know. Um, stops and getting out a little bit. And then, um, you know, we, we did a good job in the third. I mean, we won the third. Um, you know, there was so no easy – no easy buckets. I think Rudy like impacted the first four shots of the of the third quarter, um, and and we didn't give any real any real ground back right there, which has been also a problem for us, as you know. So, talking about Rudy's impact in that third, what did you think about his overall impact tonight? His best. Yeah, game? I mean, you know, he controlled the paint. He was, you know, we found him a ton. Um, you know, it was a great game, you know, great game by him. Obviously, um, you know, plus thirty, plus thirty one. 21 rebounds, 25 points. I mean, and, you know, all credit to his teammates. They really did a great job of finding him tonight. And he did, a, you know, a really, really good job of swarming the paint. Did you have a chance to get anything on Ant, any sort of update? I just, no, I just heard uh, uh, hip soreness. So. Chris, we've talked a lot about getting Rudy the ball. I mean, is, is it maybe as simple as just they need reps and reps and I reps. I think there's some of that for sure, you know. Um, yeah, and I think some of it, um, you know, with uh, some of the lineups that, you know, we're out there um, a little bit smaller, so it was a good target over top. Um, thought guys did a really good job of, you know, had, having their head up and looking for them, uh, whether it be on the roll or, the, you know, the drive and the lob. Uh, Jaden was really good. So, yeah, I think some of it is just reps, you know, and then kind of – you know, ball movement is better right now, and um, so everything has a little more space, and that space allows you to see what's going on a little bit. And we're not when we get slowed down and we get static, then you know they got guys hanging on Rudy. It makes it harder, you know. So Kyle was also plus thirty-one. I mean, yeah. does it seem like he and Rudy just? are kind of attached to the hip there, just the way that they have been able to build a rapport and, and play off of each other? Well, for sure. No doubt. I mean, I mean, just, you know, Kyle is like a safety blanket out there. When you need to, you put the ball in his hands, you know you're going to get something good. Uh, you know, he and Rudy have a great combination going there at the elbows. A lot of just, you know, uh, creativity, so... Um. And then, f finally, with, with Rudy coming out of the third... W w what did you think you saw the most just in, in those first few minutes that allowed you to kind of get off to the start that has been eluding start you guys? Start to third? Yes. Yes. Yeah, so, I mean, I think he blocked one shot. I think they had an air ball. He, you know, sw swung in at a couple others. And, uh, you know, I think that set the tone um, was good for us. Set the tone right in the third. So. Talked about Kyle as a safety blanket. It seems like there are a couple times where, like, there'll be two or three bad possessions and all of a sudden Kyle's bringing the ball up the court. Do yeah. you call for that or does he just know to do that? Or uh, A little bit of both. You know, a little bit of both for sure. Um, you know, called some, called some plays, tried to direct the ball into his hands. Yeah. You know, um, and, you know, it's something we've been wanting him to do more and more anyway. So, What have you liked about what this team has done defensively in these last three games here? Yeah, I mean, uh, we've, we've re rebounded a little bit better. I mean, tonight, obviously, they had 17 offensive rebounds. But um, I think overall in the stretch, we've been decent with the rebounding. Um, I liked our... Perimeter defense has been a lot better. Shot contests have been a lot better. Um, you know, our pursuit, physicality, all that stuff, you know, we still foul a lot, but um, I think we're getting a little bit better in every area, you know. There was three straight games where opponents have shot really poorly on their second chance attempts. Is that something where you've said, like, if we're going to give these up, we better defend on it? Or, like, where do you I, think that's coming from? I just think, you know, I actually think, you know, we've made such a point of – our you know our rebounding woes that uh, I think you know guys are almost shamed into <laughs> going out there and getting it back you know so Chris you mentioned the the spacing earlier there I'm curious if like if you think this group is acclimating to what the nature of the spacing of this team is we've always talked about how it's different very different than, than last season in terms yeah. of the, the volume three point shooters and cap being out is there an adjustment to that of having a, just a different style of space um yeah you know like our our spacing has always been more fluid dane than static you know what i mean like we're not like we might set up four around one but we really value 
getting to those spots and filling those spots. We look a lot more comfortable doing that, reading each other, like where we're going. You know, it's not like just, you know, static pick and roll, diver, create some distortion, everybody knows where they are. Like, that's great spacing too, but that's really not how we play. So I think so. It just feels like people kind of know what they're doing a little bit more out there, like in terms of playing off of each other. So. Among his many improvements thus far this year, Jade McDaniels seems to have pretty amazing court IQ for somebody 22. Yeah. I mean, his shot selection seems to be really good. And uh, as you said, he found Rudy a lot tonight, but he yeah. seems to be moving the ball. Is that something that you saw early? Is that something you've always think he had? Or is that something that has been a big step forward in his game this year? Dude. Um, I think he's always had it, Britt. I think he's, <clears throat> excuse me, I think he's always had great feel. Um, you know, for the most part, he always he, he takes good shots. That's never really been an issue. Um, what I like now is um, he's making pretty quick decisions when he catches the ball. Uh, but a lot of that has been because he's been able to polish up his skills that that stuff comes, you know, comes through now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So that's a credit to him and Joe Boylan and everybody who's worked on, you know, just he's had a lot. He has a lot of skills and he's just polishing them up a little bit across the board. With Rudy and and guys getting the ball to him, is it preferable or have you not talked about maybe getting him the ball chest high or above his head as opposed to on the bounce? It's yeah, you know, I mean, it'd be great if they could throw every pass like right there and he can just dunk it. But you know, I want we we always preach like make the play that's there in front of you. And if it's a bounce pass into the pocket, you know, Rudy's got to catch it. You know, sometimes he might not. Maybe he's expecting it. I, like it's not a matter of whether. A lot of times, this is what it's not a matter of whether he can or cannot catch the ball because he has pretty good hands. Uh, it's like he might be expecting it up and it comes down and then his adjustment is a little, um, you know, off. So, but he's got to be ready for everything, you know, and, and, um, and, and I, you know, we're looking for him now in that pocket. And when he has momentum rolling through there, and you know, he's uh, drawing fouls and he's obviously getting to the rim. So. Is that just something that just comes with time? And I think so. Talking? You know, he's you know obviously it's you know it's 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 easier for bigs like him to play with the ball above the rim, but it you know we don't. That's another type of pass that takes time and feel and you know timing and all that stuff too. So. Where did you see D'Lo? Uh, yeah, sell tonight. I thought he was really good tonight. Really, really good. Um, put pace in the game early. Uh, again, quick decision making. Really moved it around, you know. Found uh, found everybody out there. You know, it was a real sharp game by him. Chris, you guys shot 76 percent uh, on twos tonight, and are third in the league now in in, in two point field goal percentage. Yeah. What have you found really inside the three point arc that, that's been so successful for you guys? Well, again, I think you know, obviously, uh, you know, we emphasize getting to the rim. That's kind of where we start with our offense. Um, Rudy, again, has unbelievable gravity, whether it's rolling or he's down there. People are a little reluctant to leave his body. Opens up uh, rims, you know, opportunities to get to the rim. Um, you know, we're a little bit better maybe in transition than we were in the beginning of the season. Um, you know, we got a bunch of guys. I think Kyle does a really good job of getting down, getting to the rim too. So, and Ant's uh, shot selection as well.